Hi everybody, it took a second for my camera to kick in. It's Audrey, welcome back to my channel again. Um, today is going to be a really short video, but I wanted to do a face of the day, show you some of the new products that I'm using, and uh, the one color eyeshadow look, and also, make sure I have that, <laughs> um, an HCG uh, week roundup, uh, wrap up, excuse me, and um, not much to tell there. Uh, I didn't have any luck this week um, I actually gained and then lost so I'm back exactly where I started the end of last week so I you know I think stress I was also ovulating <laughs> and um, we went out to eat several times because my daughter's leaving for Job Corps and we celebrated and I had a little more wine uh, more than I'm, I'm not supposed to have any but you know so I ate a few things off menu. I didn't like totally lose it or just feel like I was out of control or anything like that. Uh, but this is one of those things where a few bites here and there um, will stop your weight loss or even gain because it's that sensitive. And so I kind of expected that. So I'm, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm out of control or I've lost, I'm giving up or none of that. Uh, I'm still very much on plan and uh, it'll go back down. It started to creep back down again, and but it's exactly where it was, so there's no point in showing all of my weigh-ins. I, I actually only weighed in twice this week because I kind of knew. <laughs> um, so that's that for the HCG, but I'm sure next week we'll have a bigger drop, and um, um, you know, I'm still, I'm still happy with the program. I mean, it's just one of those things where you have to be really, you know, perfect on it, and that's why a lot of people struggle with it. <clears throat> I actually haven't struggled with it too much up until this last week. So, uh, but again, I made choices. I didn't do it out of I have no control or I'm starving. It wasn't anything like that. So, just wanted to clarify that. And then on to face of the day, um, I am doing a, just a purple eyeshadow look today. Uh, I thought I'd keep it pretty simple, which is one color eyeshadow, and do the domed um, eyeshadow look, uh, which works for me also with hooded lids. It's another trick for hooded lids. So it is an all over color of purple and I will show you that. I've used it before but not in this scenario. So it is from a, one of my little Ulta compacts and I'm sure I've showed you that one in my little Ulta haul. But um, it's a little gloomy today so the lighting is not that great so forgive me for that. It is this beautiful kind of iridescent purple. So go ahead and swatch that for you. It's a gray purple, but it's got a lot more iridescent. This looks very gray. It's much more purple uh, in in real life. And uh, I just put it all over the lids with the brush uh, and then used, whoops, closed it. <laughs> used just the highlighter from the blush duo. This is a blush highlighter, but I put that up under my brows and on my cheeks. So that was the eyeshadow, the one eyeshadow look. Um, also, I used the Milani. Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation, and this color is, um, let's see where it is, I was pretty sure it's Sand Beige 06, so, because I am tanning again, I got more of my tan back, so this is my tanning color, Sand Beige, um, and I really like it, you need very little of it, it covers very nicely with a brush, I know everybody says use a sponge, to me, I can't quite get that one down, I don't feel like it spreads very evenly when I do it with a thing and it takes twice as long for me for me now if you're a pro at it <laughs> God bless you for using the sponge so that's the Milani and I really really like that and of course my new favorite powder you know I should I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put a video out for my five top favorite uh, beauty products um, this year because this one is really gonna be in there it's the uh, NYX no filter powder um, if you guys have not seen this is all over YouTube it just gives this beautiful and this one is an 07 medium olive um, just a kind of a blurred not matte and not illuminating it's somewhere in between uh, just a very nice glow but see everything just looks very airbrushed which that's that's the look it's an airbrushed look um, <clears throat> and if you remember from my haul before, I was going to use these products for my makeover. I will post that here or here. Um, 
and I ended up I did the holiday look with the darker lips and the darker cheek so this look I did with the lighter two colors that um, I was going to demo and I didn't demo it but I'm going to show it to you anyway um, I first uh, I lined my lips with um, NYX suede uh, matte lip liner and uh, don't really know sandstorm I kept saying it was some sort of weird number but they had this all listed funny it's in sandstorm I got this color which initially matched the suede um, n uh, liquid lipstick suede uh, NYX and I'll also link that lip combo um, up there as well but this is a great nudish lip pencil I filled it in with um, a wet and wild velvet matte um, lip color and this one is in um, toffee frappe and this is also very very nude I mean I, I if I just wanted it like look like it was my own lips um, a little more detailed but not um, lipstick at all this is this is excellent I'm gonna show that to you and it's really really nice for me I filled it all in with this and then I topped it with this beautiful little lip color and this one is so small that my little eyes cannot read it but it's a beautiful pinkish uh, I'd say a nude pink but it's a little more pink than nude uh, gloss on top and it's really really pretty I will see if I can swatch that one for you as well and the, even if you didn't do the other um, lip pencil in between those two is that's a nice combination very light pink uh, and this is Clinique I'll just say that's Clinique and then I did use the Clinique um, chubby stick uh, cheek color balm and this color is apple oh amp up apple hmm. cute and I did that on my cheeks it, I just did the stain uh, and blended it in nicely to lip it's it's really nice color very not too pink not too nude somewhere in between peachy nude I don't know very very nice worked for me so and then um, I also wanted to talk about this brand new concealer that I got um, and I will also link the video of the procedures that I had done uh, several months ago a few months ago and um, this was developed um, and it may be available on HSN because um, this is uh, from the doctor who uh, the center is that I go to and she came up with a line uh, of very high quality skincare products and one of them is a healer concealer and it's calm and cover balm and it's uh, the name of the uh, skincare line is Volante if you can see that I don't know if you can see this or not. Oh boy, there's so much glare. Sorry guys. It's Volante. I will try to link all this before. You know how terrible I am at that. I will definitely try to link it. Um, this I got for free because of a little misunderstanding they had about a procedure, but um, uh, nothing that, no problems with my procedure. Just the amount I paid for extra, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> this is very thick. Well, I should say dense um, and I put it under my eyes and around my nose and this is made to for anybody for any reason but it's uh, it has their high concentrated serum in here to heal the skin as well as cover so that was kind of made for after you have bruising procedure and you get bruising or things like that you can cover it and heal your skin at the same time uh, but this is really nice I mean you need very little of this very little of this goes a long way comes in a little pump and I got it in medium but they have light medium and deep and um, you know check out HSN to see if they have that available because I know that, that they were promoting and launching their their skincare line on HSN and I haven't checked to see if it's available there but this is through Vanderveer Center so Vanderveer.com you can look it up as well maybe and order it if you wish uh, but a very nice high quality ingredients it's, it's basically skincare with great coverage um, so that is it and the lastly I did use my legendary lashes today but I used and I didn't bring it up my doll 10 mascara underneath because this stuff just smears to all get out underneath but it's great 
for up above. So, you know, I guess it's not Holy Grail. A lot of people think it is. For me, it's a great mascara. It's a thickening, really intense black. Um, maybe slightly curling, I don't know. But it smears really badly underneath um, my eyes. And I don't set my eyes with powder. You know, us older women can't do a whole lot. It, there's all sorts of kind of powders people try and they bake and all these kinds of things. And I've seen it look really good on other people. And even in our age group, that's great. I can't do it. I use my Peter Thomas Roth Eye Fixer, Eye Firm, I should say. And I just tap it under there to get rid of my bags. And it happens to take the shine away, firm it up and all that stuff. So as you've seen in numerous tutorials. So that is my wrap for this week. I just wanted to get on here since I don't have a lot to show you for the HCG. Sorry about that. Um, so it's the same. You know, things happen. Bodies go, you know, I, I was waiting for my body to either have a period or go through menopause to see how it would work. And um, I think the stress of my mother being a hospice, my, my daughter leaving today and going out to celebrate and all that, you know, little we had a baby shower too and amongst all of this um i didn't pig out but i had a few things bites because somebody made it oh try it you know it just adds up and it just stopped everything in its tracks so i'm back on the wagon and i should have a good one for next week but i thank you for all your really kind words especially regarding my mother and the support for my weight loss as well as my mother and um I will definitely keep you guys in the loop because we are that sandwich generation, a lot of us, or we're just in the generation of parents passing. And I know some of you have had your parents already pass and I, I feel you, you know, my dad passed in March and you just, you never get over that really. Um, but it's a part of life and we have faith. I know where my, my dad is. I'll see him again. I know where my mom will be going and I'll see her again. That gives me hope. And in the midst of this tumultuous, stressful time. But I am still going like gangbusters on this HCG. I'm not going to waste that money or waste that medication. Uh, I'm going to put it to good use and I'm going to reach my goal. Um, but there's going to be a week or two that may not be that great. That's okay. You know, 18, 19 pounds in, in a month, I think, is really good. So I am not going to badger myself or bring myself down. So thank you, guys. Uh, again, I will link whatever videos about these products I can and try to put it, everything in the description box for you guys below. Um, and uh, as far as the concealer, I'll see if I can find a link for that. If not, look on HSN and look for Volante Skin Care um, or concealer. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys next time with a weight loss update. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. Love you all and peace.